Hello everybody, welcome to class. This is uh, the third installation of, of our uh, uh, plurals, okay, plurals and uh, pronunciations of the voiced and unvoiced S sounds, okay. Uh, and I, I did this class three times uh, because uh, I had uh, um, uh, you know, a recommendation from a student of mine, and uh, and usually when there's a recommendation, it it's something that's needed uh, throughout. Okay, um, and so I did one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then one here again at night, so we could uh, work on those sounds and also changing nouns to to plurals. Okay, what the what the various rules are, and uh, and then we'll go over those practices. All right, uh, if uh, if you do not know where to find the uh, the class materials, okay. I'm gonna show you in just one second how to uh, how to get to those. All right, it's a uh, very simple. Um, it's uh, usually it, well, it's under the uh, class description. All right, so when uh, when you're looking to get into into class. And you look uh, right down below. Okay, here this is uh, Oakley's class, and uh, you can see here below he has class materials. Okay, he's going over phrasal verbs. All right, um, and uh, yeah, you can open up those links. Uh, my class materials are down here. Okay, and you can uh, open open each one of those up. So go ahead, and uh, we're going to uh, open up rules first. Okay, that's going to be our first one we are we're we're going to be taking a look at. Okay, when you do, that's what it uh, that's what it looks like. All right, if you uh, still cannot find those links, all right, let me have you open that up. All right. Um, okay, uh, and Camila, you can come in if you if you want to as well. No problem. All right, let's see who we have first up. Uh, Andres, how are you? Hey, I fine. Can you listen to me? Excellent. Uh, yep, I can hear you just well, uh, or just okay. fine. And uh, Andres, where are you from? I'm from Colombia. From Colombia, excellent. And uh, and uh, what uh, what do you do? Are you a student or uh, do you work full time? I am student yet. At the university. Okay. Uh, what uh, what do you study? Okay, at uh, at the university. What's your subject? Uh, English. It's English. Uh, English. Okay, it's English. And uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to be a uh, translator, or uh, or are you going to be an English teacher? I will be a teacher. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Well, uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Uh, let's see. We also have. Uh, let's see, Fabian. How are you, Fabian? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. And uh, Fabian, uh, let's see. Have you been in my class before? Uh, now, uh, now is my first time here. Okay. Uh, excellent. Uh, good to have you here. And uh, Fabian, where are you from? I am from Ecuador. From Ecuador. Excellent. Okay, and uh, and what do you do? Can you repeat, please? Sure. Uh, what uh, what do you do? Uh, uh, do you work full time or are you a student? No, I am uh, I am a worker. Uh, I am a system engineer. Okay, so you you work as a systems engineer. Okay, very good. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, welcome, uh, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thank you very much. All right. How about uh, Igor? Welcome to class. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well. Thank you. How about you? I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. Um, and uh, you're just starting starting your day. What do you have planned for today, Igor? No much plans uh, to work to, to like study English. English. And it's okay. All there you go. Awesome. Well, welcome, welcome back to class, Igor. Thank you. All right. How about uh, Jesus? How are you, Jesus? Fine. And you? I'm doing great. And uh, Jesus, where are you from? I'm Mexican. 
Spanish. Okay, so you're from Mexico. What part of uh, yeah. Mexico are you from? Mexico City. Mexico City, awesome. And mm -hmm. uh, and what do you do? What I do, I'm a student. Okay, what do you study? Uh, I'm a student physics. Okay, all right, physics. Then and, uh, and uh, what's your goal? Uh, uh, what kind of a job are you are you looking uh, to do once you get your degree? Are you going to be a teacher, mm -hmm. or is there another specific uh, uh, area you're going to work in? Yeah, the the main idea is. Um, to have a combination of a teacher and investigator, I, that's what I want, but I, let's okay. see, we'll see. Yeah. All right, sounds good. Okay, well, welcome to class. Good to have you here. Thank you. All right, how about uh, Jonathan? How are you? Uh, okay, let's go to uh, Mina. How are you doing, Mina? Hey, Mr. Chad. How's, how is everything going for you today? Uh, I'm great. How about you? Uh, I'm doing uh, excellent. Very good. Yes, I'm, I'm excited. Tomorrow is my, uh, my lower body and, uh, and shoulders day, so I'm getting <laughs> amped for it. going to get a, a nice rest tonight and then go do a whole bunch of squats tomorrow. Yeah, I just played the uh, workout legs like a uh, couple of hours ago. Oh, really? How are you feeling? I feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, uh, uh, do you do a, uh, a, a hard workout or you just... Uh, no. Uh, no, just, just putting machine. Putting some weight on your muscles uh, and maintaining them. Yeah, yeah, no squats, oh, okay. just gotcha. machines. Okay. All right. Very cool. I have to uh, strengthen my yeah. back more, and so uh, yeah, that's why I'm I'm looking looking for that. But very cool. Yeah. I and when I whenever go I go uh, work out, I Man. usually come back pretty pretty exhausted. <laughs> but all right. Cool. Man. Well, welcome uh, welcome back to class. How how are your uh, your classes going for you? Yeah. Great presentation after presentation. <laughs> Super, very cool, man. All right, well, yeah. let's uh, let's see. Uh, how about how about uh, Yada? How are you, Yada? Hi, I'm here again. Excellent. Excellent. Yes, welcome, welcome back to class. Good to good Thanks. to have you here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Camila came back in the class. How are you, Camila? Hey, Chad. I'm here again. <laughs> good. So you just. Decided, you decided to come in, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know if it, yeah, it's, it's going to be difficult, but I will try. Um, really, really, it's uh, it's uh, for uh, for everyone. I, I wish they had a button, okay, that says anybody that anybody can come in because really when you're talking about uh, certain pronunciations or changing uh, you know like this changing nouns from singular to plural um, uh, a beginner can use this information an intermediate and an advanced student can if it is a problem for the, for you guys so um, so any any one of those uh, types of students but I don't have an anyone button so I think I put intermediate or something like that here so don't worry you'll be be, you'll okay. be just fine, okay? Okay. Huh. All right, let's see. Did I get everybody? I think I did. Okay, awesome. Okay, you guys. Well, um, if you uh, are new to class here, my name is Teacher Chad. Uh, I am from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Um, uh, I, I only know uh, two languages, uh, English and Spanish. I learned Spanish when I was living in Argentina. Um, and uh, yeah, so I've, I've been living now here in Costa Rica for about nine months and uh, teaching at Verbling for about uh, two months now. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and, and get started. We're going to start off with the rules first. Okay, uh, that's a link that I put in the uh, chat in the chat box. Okay, I'll put it in both the, the Verbling and, and, uh, um, and Google Chat. Okay, uh, if uh, tonight is your first time, I want to go through some things with you briefly. Okay, um, so when you're here in class, all right, if it's uh, not your turn to, to 
speak, uh, please have your microphone muted. You can mute yourself by clicking this button when it is red like this. Okay, that means that you are muted. All right, just remember when you are called on to speak um, to uh, uh, unmute your microphone, okay? That's to reduce any loud noises. If you have a car that drives by or someone that comes running into the room, things like that, sometimes it can be very loud in other people's ears. Though you may not hear it, uh, we all hear that, okay? Um, also, if uh, you, uh, you find yourself not being able to speak, Okay, check your microphone, see if you are muted. If not, check your settings. Sometimes computers play uh, funny games. Now here, this is our chat box. Okay, this is where I put information. Make sure that you are in the verbling chat box. Now the way that you can tell is because it does not say verbling here. Okay, we have two chat boxes. One here. Okay, that is the Google chat box and verbling down below. All right, let's, uh, let's get started. Right. Okay, so these here are the rules we are going to be following uh, when we uh, convert uh, singular nouns to plural nouns. Uh, we're going to start off with, uh, with Andres. Yeah. Okay, um, and Andres, let me have you read the information in this first box right here, please. For mouth nouns, yes, at ease. Singular and plural. Hand hands, rabbit, rabbits, key, keys, clock, clocks, football, footballs, door, doors. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Now, this is going to be the simplest form. Okay, some, some nouns only require an S, all right, uh, but not every noun, okay? Uh, let's take a look at our next box here. And Camila, let me have you read the information in this box, please. Okay. For nouns any ending in S, X, D, C, H, or S, H, I, D, E, S. Singular, plural. Box, boxes. Peach, peaches. Wish, wishes. Boss, bosses. Buzz, buzzes. Glass, glasses. Glasses. Okay, excellent. Okay, now class, this is when we can pronounce that ES sound. Okay, uh, the only time when we can pronounce that S sound. Okay, boxes. Okay, pitches. All right, okay, now uh, in other times when we add an ES, we do not pronounce that IS sound. Okay, only when it ends with these uh, five different endings S, X, Z. CH or SH. Okay? Okay. All right, let's go down to our next box, and this is for Fabian. Let me have you read okay. the information in this box, please. Okay. Singular, plural. Uh, potatoes, potatoes. Potatoes. Tomatoes, <laughs> tomato, tomatoes. Hero, heroes. Echo, echoes. That's right. Uh, this would be echo and echoes. Echo, echo. Banjo, banjoes. Okay, this would be banjos. Banjos. Okay, now, banjo. uh, yes, remember what I had said before. This is the only time where you pronounce that S sound. Pitches, wishes. Here, we focus on that O sound. So if the word is potato, um, we just add an S. Even though there is an E there, it's only pronounced potatoes. Okay? Echoes. Okay? We would not say echo is. All right? It is echoes. Okay? Echoes. All right. Okay. So many, many of the, uh, pl sorry, the plural of many words ending in O can be spelt with S or E-S. Okay, um, I, I don't know uh, any off the top of my head that can be spelt with an S or an ES. Uh, this is a good place for you to start with these uh, these nouns here. Okay, now let's uh, let's talk about words, uh, other words ending in O, and just adding an S. 
Okay, and this is going to be for Igor. Igor, please read the information in this box. However, for some words ending in O, just add S. Silo? Silos. Yes? Silo? That would be cello. C cello. Cello, cellos. Mm -hmm. Disco, discos. Hydro, hydros. Logo, logos. Pati, pa patio, patios. Photo, photos. Piano, pianos. Radio, radios. Okay, very good. All right, so uh, give, me, give me one second. Um, uh, Kian, or oh, Clan, Clan Chen, Clan Chen. Um, can I can I have you please mute your microphone? There's a there's a, a sound coming from your uh, your background. Okay, please keep your microphone muted. Awesome. Okay, so. Uh, when we uh, when we uh, have uh, some words that end with an O, all we do is add an S. Okay, it's very very simple. Just like these words here, where where we just add an S. Okay. Hey, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, how come how can I difference between words that end no? Okay, on uh, and words that or, where yes. Where, Okay, whether or not you add an ES or an OS or, or just yeah. an S, okay, yeah. those words have to be learned. Okay, so there, there is no, um, there is no way, there isn't uh, something that's, uh, that like gives you a hint or anything like that. They just have to be learned. Okay, so um, this, uh, this list that we have on here, this is not the final list. Okay, there are other words that uh, where we would need to add an ES to the end. Okay, but this is a good place to start. Okay, so yes, there isn't an easy way around it. You just have to learn them. But those those words that uh, have the end in an O that only require an S, uh, that list is longer than those that require an ES. Okay. All right, uh, let's go to our next block of information. Uh, this is for Jesus. Jesus, please read uh, the information here in this uh, block. Okay, for some words ending in F, change the F to a V and add S and add ES. Singular and plural, hal, halves, halves, love. Loves, elf, elves, live, lives, self, selves, shell, shell, shelves, div, divs, wolf, wolves. Okay, good. Now, uh, some of the time uh, you you uh, pronounce this correctly, like wolves. Mm -hmm. That's good. That L is silent and the E is silent. Okay, mm -hmm. um, but uh, loves. Okay, we would not say loaves, we would say loaves. Please repeat that, loaves. Loaves. Good, okay. And uh, also, leaves, leaves. Leaves. Excellent. So, remember class, yeah. the only time when we pronounce that S sound is when we are, when the word ends with an S, an X, a Z, CH, or SH, okay? Bosses, buzzes. All right, so even if we add an ES on other words, we do not pronounce that S sound, okay? By saying loves or anything like that, we say loaves, okay? Mm -hmm. And uh, remember on these words as well, that L is silent, shelves, or sorry, uh, here on this word here, halves, okay? Um, wool, halves, halves is silent. Uh, the L here is, is present, so elves, selves, shelves and wolves okay the l is silent in halves okay all right um very good now any questions so far class any other questions here how do you pronounce thief, thieves thieves okay that word is thieves thie thieves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay good Thank you. 
All right, let's go to Java. Let me have you uh, read. I, I believe I'm on Java, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. So, Java, let me have you read uh, the information in this next block, please. Okay. However, for some words ending F, just add S. Singular, chef, chefs. Cliff, cliffs. Ref, refs. Roof, roofs. The good, plural good. of yes. some nouns ending. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, keep, keep reading, head. please. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The, the plural of some nouns ending in F can be spelled using either variation. Okay, and uh, uh, there may be some, but I, I'm not familiar with those either. Okay, uh, the most common common uh, ways, okay, um, are going to be like this. Okay, I don't know of very many where all we, we do is have the F and we add an S. Okay, these are probably the most common: chefs, cliffs, refs, and roofs. All right. Uh, okay. Very good. Thank you. Let's uh, let's uh, take a look. We we've got four more blocks of information, and then we're going to move on uh, to sounds. You know, pronouncing the the uh, voiced and unvoiced s. Okay. Let's go to Andres. Yeah. Andres, let me have you read uh, this block of information, please. Okay. For some nouns ending in e f e i f e, change the f and to have B and the add is singular and plural. Wife, wife, life, live, lives, knife, knife. Okay, uh, so let's practice some of these words. So uh, here, instead of uh, pronouncing that as sound, the word is wives. 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 Okay, good. Here, this is lives. Lives. Okay, and here, this is uh, knives. 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 Okay, uh, oh, very, yeah, very good. Knives. Okay, okay. so remember, okay. okay, the only time that we pronounce that ES sound is uh, when it ends with an S, X, Z, C, H, or S, H. Okay. Every other time, we are going to go to that S, that voiced or unvoiced S sound. Okay. All right. Let's uh, let's see, Bruno. How you doing tonight? I'm fine, thanks, Chad. And you? I'm doing great. Uh, let me have you read this block of information, please. Okay. Uh, for common nouns that end with consonant plus Y, change the Y to an I, and then add. Yes. Singular and plural. Poppy, poppies. Fly, flies. Penny, pennies. Spy, spies. Nappy, nappies. Sty, styes. Okay, excellent. Okay. Um, one thing I want to point out here, class, okay, that even though it changes to an I in each case, okay, the pronunciation of that Y will stay the same. So if in the singular form, if the word is poppy, okay, it would be poppies. All right, we would not change that to Popeyes. Okay, same thing here if the word is fly, okay, we would not change this word to fleas. Okay, that would be flies. So whatever the original form is, penny, pennies, spy, spies, okay, whatever that original form is, of that the sound of that Y, that stays the same. Okay? All right, very good. Uh, let's move on and go to Camila. Okay. Camila, let me have you read uh, these words uh, here in this block. Okay. Some nouns are the same in both singular and plural form. Singular, plural. Fish, fish. Ship, Ship, deer, beer, tuna, tuna, salmon, salmon, truth, truth. Okay, good. Now, the, these last two words, This the L is silent here. We say salmon. Please repeat that. Salmon. Uh-huh, good. And this word here is trout. 
trout. Trout. Trout. Trout. Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, now this is chat, not. Excuse uh, me. Yes. What is your question? Uh, uh, there is uh, there, there is a, r a ruler for the, the words uh, that not change the the word. The plural form. Um, uh, no, no real rule except for what I see is most of them have to do with animals. Okay. Um, uh, okay. So if you if you take a look at the list here. All right, uh, we have uh, fish, sheep, deer, tuna, salmon, trout. Uh, others would be like moose. Offspring would be the uh, babies. Okay, um, but uh, we also have words like series. Okay, series is uh, both singular and plural. So it's not it's not a hard fast rule. Okay, we also have mouse and goose. All right, oxen. Okay, those are animals, but they have different forms. All right. So again, these just have to be learned. All right. We uh, I had a similar question earlier in the day uh, with these, and just like when uh, uh, I mean when you're younger, okay, uh, you don't know everything, and you're and you're corrected with them when you uh, when you uh, um, say something incorrectly. You just kind of have to go through it and go. Oh, okay. Trout is a uh, is a uh, trout. Uh, I don't say trouts, okay, or anything like that. It's a uh, it's trout singular, trout plural, okay, things like that. So it's just something that uh, that needs to be learned, okay. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a lot of things like that in English, and it it uh, it's not very fun. <laughs> Okay, good question though. Um, and Fabian, let me have you read this last box of information. Okay. Can you? Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. The for for some nouns, change other letters, or just change the word completely. Singular, plural. Person, people. Child, children. Ox, oxen. Feet, feet. Toot, teeth. Goose, geese. Mouse, mice. Lows, lice. Men, men. Okay, good. Yes, yeah, so we have man and men. Okay, uh, another one here is uh, uh, women, uh, woman and women. Okay. Women. Okay. okay, that changes. All right, uh, these again, uh, these as well would just need to be learned. Okay, no real no real rule. Okay, just words that need to be learned. Okay. All right. So, class, okay. uh, any questions for for me um, at, at this point before we before we move on? No questions. Nope. It's All okay. right, everyone, good. All right, very cool. Uh, let's open up our next our next link. We're going to go to the voiced and unvoiced. <laughs> <laughs> voiced and unvoiced uh, link. I know you did. Uh, Bruno, Bruno, put it in the uh, in the box for me. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So go ahead and uh, and open that up. Okay. Now, <clears throat> when when I'm talking about the voiced and unvoiced. All right. There's uh, there's different ways to pronounce the s's. Okay, uh, so for example, if we have the word boxes, okay, that that s at the end of the word is not a s sound. We don't say boxes, okay. We say boxes. That has a z sound, okay. That would be called the voiced s, okay. It's a z, okay. That's how it's pronounced. It's more like a z, okay. The voiceless s. Okay, would be like words uh, like this, where we have the word this, this. Okay, so here's the difference, boxes and this. Boxes with that vibration and this, more of a s sound. Okay, now with that s sound, that is a uh, unvoiced. Okay, you may also hear it uh, called voiceless. Okay, they mean the same thing. 
voiceless or unvoiced s okay so uh, we're going to we're going to learn about those okay when we when we produce uh, one sound or the other okay uh, let's uh, go ahead and go back to this document now here uh, there was a question that was asked okay about voiced and unvoiced s okay we're going to ignore this whole part right here so don't uh, don't worry about that that's the question okay what I want to focus on is the answer right here down below all right and let's see let's go to Igor yes and uh, Igor let me have you read uh, what the answer is go ahead and, and read uh, um, read this section here please cool breeze there are some rules these apply to the final plural uh, s and the third person singular s in verbs verbs the s is voiced voiced uh, after a voiced sound all vowels uh, are voiced and also b d l m n v the dreams about it every day the, his dreams are inc incredible he calls me every day he likes rosebuds rosebuds i have two rosebuds. watches he kno knows on my door daily i hate cats in many native speakers uh, speech these voiced as uh, as are not very clearly voiced at all there are regional and dialectical differences common words that are supposed to have a voiced s are is was uh, as has but not all natives pronounce them that way okay good so um, and and you can sort of hear that in when I speak okay uh, because I don't I don't lean into that that z sound very much so is okay a little bit more is has as okay a little bit it's there but when I'm speaking okay when I'm when I'm speaking very quickly um, you can barely barely hear it all right so this and is this is as this is as okay so there uh, can you still not hear the difference there Bruno uh, this uh, is with an S sound and the other ones with the Z sound with the Z sounds yeah this is as I just can't sorry <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's it's there it's it's barely there okay I, I don't I don't give good examples of that because when I when I talk it's uh, it the vibration is not uh, pronounced okay uh, very clearly but been, what's that I have been practicing uh, club and clubs since the the last class of since the last music, class and I just can't do that really I, I just can't but I'm trying. All right. Well, the the thing is, is that uh, we'll still understand you. All right. Yeah. Um, it's it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. All right. Right. Uh, but yeah, if you can get it, great. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, it it may take some some work. Okay. Yeah. We'll, now. I'll take it some, I'll get it some time. Yeah. So uh, things I want to go over. Okay. Off of what we just read. Okay. Vowels. Our vowels are a, e, i, o, and u. Okay, Y may be considered a uh, vowel as well, but when we are talking about plurals, we change change the Y to an I and add ES. Okay, so the Y we don't we don't really uh, talk about that when we're talking about plurals. Okay, so our vowels A E I O and U. If you have an S at the end of that. Okay, that is uh, usually going to make a Z sound. Okay, one of the ones that I just thought of right now would be uh, that would be contrary to that would be bus. Okay, bus, bus and us. You would not say buzz and us. Okay, that would be bus and us. Okay, but if you add an e to us, that all of a sudden becomes use. 
All right, that's when we use that U sound and the Z sound, use. Okay? All right, now, the, uh, the other part of the uh, voiced S, okay, are going to be these letters here. Okay, so if, uh, if an S follows one of those letters, okay, we would pronounce that as a voiced S as well. Zzz. Okay, uh, V is the, is the challenge. I don't know of any words that end with only a V that do, that do not have an E afterwards. Okay, if it has an E, we are definitely going to pronounce that like a Z sound. Now, um, I want to practice uh, one word with you guys. Okay, before we go on to our other practices, the word is, is. Okay, if the word is is a challenge, we can practice Z. All right? Okay, so we're going to say the word is twice, focusing on that vibration, Z. Okay, it sounds, yeah, it sounds like a B. Okay, like it's like a bee buzzing around. So when uh, when if you're thinking about what you're going to do with your tongue, okay, your tongue is going to be curved like this. Okay, you're going to have a, a little bit of restricted airflow at the back of your tongue, and your tongue will not touch the front of your teeth. So if if these are your these are your teeth here on the bottom, okay, mm -hmm. so your top teeth and bottom teeth, your tongue does not touch your tongue. It is Mm -hmm. free from your tongue so it can vibrate, all right? But it will touch the sides of your teeth. Z, z, z. Z. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to pronounce the word is, is, okay? Uh, starting off uh, over here with, uh, now is your name uh, Prabhu? Z, is. Okay, not so much. How about uh, Jesus? Let's practice that uh, that uh, Z sound. Okay, we're going to say is is. Try that. Is is. Perfect. Nice job. Let's go to Igor. Is is. Well, two times to pronounce is. Yep, just two times. Is is. Is is. Great. Okay, uh, Honey, How about you? We're going to say is is. Is, is. Good. Okay. Fabian, is, is. Is, is. Okay. Give me a vibration there. We're going to say zzz, zzz. Try that. Is, is. Okay. All right. Now let's just focus on that vibration. So without saying that I in front, we're going to say zzz, zzz. Try that. Is, is, is. There you go. There's the vibration. Got it. Okay, is. Okay, uh, let's go to uh, Camila. Okay, is, is. I think Brazilian, uh, Brazilian people can do this, this sound. I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> it is really difficult for us. I'm serious. Is. Okay. Is. Is. I can do that. Okay. Um, now, how do you how do you pronounce the word? Um, if we were talking about Rio, if we were if you were to say Rio de Janeiro in your own in your own tongue, how would you say that? Rio de Janeiro. Okay. So what's that Rio. sound? De. Rio de Janeiro. Dej. Dej. Okay. So yeah. that vibration, Dej. 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 That's it. That's a vibration that you're saying with your tongue. Okay. It's the same. It's the same position. Dej. Okay. Dej. It's the same position. Dej. So, Dej, Dej. Is. Dej. Is. Dej. Is. Dej. Okay. Dej. So if you if you focus Dej. on that and how you say that that uh, that uh, that sound. Okay. And then modify it just a little bit. Okay. Because you can vibrate. Okay. You can vibrate, okay? okay. So, days. <laughs> so we're gonna say is, okay? It's we're gonna is. modify it just a little bit. So we're gonna say is, is, is. Okay. So now we're gonna uh, uh, lay off of that a little bit more. We're gonna say is, is. Okay. Okay. Is, 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 is. 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 
Okay, so let's see what's what's the tongue doing here. Is is okay. So um, your tongue, when you pronounce that is sound, your tongue is uh, is is okay. When you pronounce that zh sound, your tongue is flattening a little bit more against the top of your mouth. It flattens a little more. Is okay. Now when we pronounce that z sound, our tongue uh, releases just a little bit more and it scoops. Just, just a little bit more, okay? Because you still have that vibration. You still need your tongue to vibrate like that, okay? So okay. if you guys, uh, both Bruno and Camila, if you guys can focus in on that sound, like when you say Rio de Janeiro, I know I pronounce it terribly, but that I, I, can't, <laughs> I, I can't speak Portuguese. So that sound, that vibration, if you can focus on how to pronounce that and then modify it, Okay, so it sounds as close as you as you possibly can get it to that zzz sound. Okay, by scooping your tongue just a little bit more, you'll nail it and you'll be right there. Okay, I'll try. Okay, <laughs> all right. So Bruno, let's uh, let's have you try it. Okay, think of that. No. Think of that sound. <laughs> yeah, okay. think of that sound. We're gonna say is is. Okay, let me focus here. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Uh, is. Is. Okay, try that try that, that Portuguese sound. So you say is. Ah, is. 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 Okay, and that's more of a z sound, right? So instead of uh, curving curving your tongue and flattening at the top, okay, we want to sort of release it a little bit more and uh, let your let your tongue go. So is and is. Sorry. <laughs> is. Is okay. That's it. Is is okay. okay. You'll be able to get it. We'll keep. We'll yeah. keep working on it. I will. I will keep working. No problem. I will get it sometime. All right. But All I right, don't man. think it's going to be today. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No worries, man. No worries. Okay. Let's go to uh, Andres. Let me have you yeah. uh, pronounce that sound. Is 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 okay. Is is. Is is okay. Good. All right. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see. Okay. So let's uh, let's go ahead and go to uh, some practices, you guys. Okay. Um, we're gonna uh, we're gonna go to uh, exercise number one. Just barely beat me. Barely beat me. <laughs> All right. So uh, Bruno Bruno put it in the uh, in the chat box go ahead and open that up Como lo sabía. <laughs> all right and um, this is when when you open it this is what it looks like okay we have about uh, 38 different uh, words that we're going to be changing to uh, from either plural to a singular or from singular to plural now um, what I'd like for you to do is read the word okay and then if it's already in in plural change it to singular if it's already in singular change it to plural okay so it's it's pretty basic we're just working on switching words from uh, uh, back and forth okay uh, let's start with uh, Prabhu uh, Prabhu are you there okay let's go to Jesus Jesus let me have you uh, do numbers one two and three please Okay, Jesus, can you see uh, um, numbers one, two, and three? Make sure that your uh, microphone is unmuted. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, the first one is offspring. Offsprings. Uh -huh. Okay, this, this word actually is uh, singular and plural. Okay, so it's offspring and offspring. Okay, so that's okay. one that we just have to learn. Okay. All right. How about the next one? Club. Uh, clubs. Good. Yes, with that Z sound there. Good. How about number three, please? Window. Uh, windows. Good. Nice job. Okay. Um, numbers uh, four, five, and six. 
This is for uh, Ivan. How are you? Hey, how are you? How are you? I am fine. I'm doing good. Excellent. So, uh, Ivan, we we are switching words from either plural forms to singular or singular to plural forms. Okay. Can you see here up on this on the screen? Okay. Okay. Let me yeah. have you read numbers four, five, and six, please, and change those to either plural or singular. Staples, whiteboards, logos. Okay. Now, staples is that going to be the singular or the plural form? Plural. Okay. What would be the singular form? Uh, whiteboard. So no, sorry. Of, staple. of staples. Staple. Staple. Okay. Staple. Staple. Good. All right. Uh, how about uh, number five? Is uh, whiteboards is that singular or plural? Plural. Okay. What's the singular form? Whiteboard. Okay. Whiteboard. Good. How about uh, number six? It's plural. Mm -hmm. Logos and singular is logo. Yeah. So logo. Okay. Good. All right, uh, let's see, number seven, eight, and nine. All right, this is for uh, Igor. Skies, it's plural, and sky. Good, skies and sky, excellent. Number eight? Match. Uh, match. Okay, there yeah. we're going to say matches, matches. Matches, matches. Good, nice. All right, and, and uh, singular, what would that be? Match. Good. How about number nine? Bush. Bushes. Plural. Excellent. Yes. And, and uh, bushes. Okay. So remember, guys, these are our special endings. CH and SH. That's when we actually pronounce that S sound. Matches. Bushes. Okay. All right. Let's go to uh, numbers 10, 11, and 12. Uh, these are for honey. Honey, are you there? Okay, let's go to uh, Fabian. Uh, numbers uh, 10, 11, and 12, please. Okay. Uh, the next one, uh, number 10, Calves, it's a, it's a plural forms. And Calp is the, is a, uh, Singular forms. Next okay, one, so uh, let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look at that. Okay, so the L, okay, the L in this word is going to be uh, silent. So the word is actually calves, calves, calves. Okay, the um, L is silent. The L is silent. We do not pronounce the L. We say calf, calves, calf, calves. There you go. Now, the singular form ends with an F, right? The L is still silent, so that word is calf. Calf. Mm. Uh, uh, I don't understand the, this, this word, please. Can you repeat, please? Okay. Uh, look here in the chat box, okay? Um, here we have the word calves. Okay, the L is going to be silent. We do not pronounce that L. It's like the word talk. So when we talk, we do not pronounce that L. Okay, um, calf, okay. okay, or calves is the same way. All right. Now, when okay. that is, when it's plural, we uh, we go from that V straight to the S. All right. When it is um, uh, in singular form, uh, we do not pronounce the L either, and it ends with an F. So the word is calf. Okay. Okay, I see. Okay. Uh, how about the word, uh, how about number 11, please? Dwarf and dwarfs. Good, at, yes. At, at, at ease, but okay. All right, and and the next two, one, 12. 12, 12. Theories and theory. Okay, good. Yes, so that's the correct ending. So this would be theories and theory. Theories right. and theory. Okay, good. Yes, thank you. All right, let's okay. go to uh, Camila. 
and Camila, let me have you do uh, numbers 13. Whoops. Here we go. 13, 14, and 15, please. Okay. 13. Button. But buttons. Good. Yes. 14. Button and buttons. Uh huh. 14. Volcano. Volcanoes. Good. Now, class, this word here, um, it said that you can add just an S instead of an ES. Okay. The way I learned this word is by adding an ES at the end. Volcanoes. Okay. But it doesn't matter with the pronunciation. It's still the same. Volcanoes and volcanoes. Okay. All right. Okay. Next one, please. And 15. Try and try us. Excellent. Thank you. All right. How about uh, 16, 17, and 18, please, Bruno? May it, Chad? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, 16. Word. Words. Mm -hmm. uh, 17. Uh, woman and women. Good. And 18. Um, barrack and barracks. Good. Good. All right. Now, Class, uh, women and uh, uh, so woman and women. I want to talk about the pronunciation here. Okay, woman is singular. Okay, it is pronounced w. Okay, woman. Okay, like that, woman. Woman. All right, we don't pronounce that o like an o sound. Woman. That's not how we pronounce the word. We say woman. Okay. Now, when we're talking about women, plural, okay, that is pronounced women. Okay. So a short I sound and a short E sound. Women. All right. So we have one woman and many women. Okay, so that I, or sorry, that O, even though it's at the beginning of each word, has a different sound. Okay, W and W. Okay, don't ask me why. That's just the way it is. All right, very good. All right, let's go to um, man and men. Okay, those are those are the same, man and men, uh, but uh, the the A and the E are, are you know, is, is going to be a short short A, short E sound. Okay. Man and men. Okay, let's go to Andres. Uh, let me have you do numbers 19, whoops, numbers 19, 20, and 21, please. Memo is singular form and plural mm -hmm. form or memos. Memos, good. Just add the S, no ES, you guys. Okay, number 20. Okay. Uh, mosquito, singular, mosquitoes. Sorry. Good. Good. No, no uh, ES. Just add the S on mosquitoes. Yes. Okay. Uh, and face. Is the same face. Yep. Face. And uh, what's the plural form? The plural form is the same, no? Uh, not in this one. We uh, we actually do add an S to this. Uh, I don't know how is it the plural way. Okay, uh, the plural would be faces. Faces? Yeah, faces. Okay, thanks. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's go to uh, Jesus. Let me have you do numbers uh, 22, 23, and 24, please. 22. Series. Okay, that would be series. 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 Uh huh. And the singular for me is Syria. Syria. Okay. This is a, you've had two tricky ones. <laughs> so, yeah, this one, this one is also series and series. So, uh, I, I currently watch a, so singular, a television series called The Following. Okay. It is one of many television series so now I'm at many so plural many television series that I watch so series is both singular and plural okay uh, how about uh, 20 23 and 24 please Jesus 23 feet teeth uh -huh. tooth tooth good 
and trenches trench good trenches and trench excellent yes and uh, Jesus remembered that if we have a CH at the end we pronounce as trenches as. okay S excellent okay, okay. Um, numbers 25 26 and 27 are four uh, Yvonne yeah well um stars is well plural star is singular okay good and knives is singular and knives is plural good methods is plural and methods is singular okay so that word would be would be pronounced motto okay motto Mado. singular and mottos plural Motto. Okay, yeah, motto. So that O makes an aw sound, all right? Okay, let's yeah. uh, let's do uh, three more, and then I think we are we will be done, all right? So, Igor, uh, mm -hmm. let me have you do uh, 28, 29, and 30, please. Leaves, leave. Mm -hmm. No? Yeah, yes. so it would be more of an F sound. Leaves and leaf. Leaf. Leaves, leaf. Good. Handkerchiefs, handkerchief. Good, with an F at the end, handkerchief. Yes. And handkerchiefs, okay, good. Buses, bus. Excellent, buses and bus. All right, excellent job, everybody. Uh, we're going to call it a class right there. I've got probably about uh, 30 seconds or so left. Um, thank you. Thank you for uh, for coming into class. It was a pleasure having having you guys here, uh, especially seeing some uh, some new faces alongside some familiar faces. Um, if uh, if you are not following me on for Facebook, uh, I'd love it. Love it to see you guys there. My Facebook page uh, is in the chat box right now or it should be. Nope, didn't show up there. Let me try one more time. There you go. So that's uh, that's my Facebook page, uh, my teacher Facebook page for Verbling. You can also follow me on Verbling, okay? Uh, please give me suggestions if there's any sounds um, or classes uh, that you are, uh, are interested in taking, okay? I take those suggestions. This class, this hour was a suggestion from one of my students, Amparo, and uh, she wanted to work on the plurals. Uh, as well as the voiced and voice uh, uh, voiceless s sounds. Okay, so this was her suggestion. I do take your suggestions and turn them into classes um, if uh, if it is possible for me to do so. I had one, uh, and she wanted me to go over all the cuss words and all the dirty words, and, and I and I can't very well do that here at Verbal. So even though that'd be fun, uh, I can't do that. So uh, let's uh, uh, let's uh, call it a class. Thank you guys for coming in. And Thank my next guys. class, I believe I'm going to be doing uh, speaking. So if uh, you're interested in practicing some, some speaking, we'll be talking about uh, education. Okay? All right, you guys. We'll okay. see ya. Bye. See you, Thank you, teacher. Bye.